Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at five of our favorite snorkeling fins. Uh, so I've got five in front of me today. Um, they've all got their little sort of pros and cons sort of throughout them. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the ones that we like and why. Okay, so in no particular order, uh, these are our five favorite fins. Um, one of the favorites is the Cressy Reaction. So this is a really standard paddle fin. Um, it's very simple, it's very tough as well. You get great propulsion, even though it's just a standard uh, sort of paddle fin, it doesn't have uh, any sort of dual material. Uh, it's just a single blade. You've got a bit of channeling and these sort of ribs that run through. Um, it's a full foot fin as well, but that foot pocket is actually very comfortable once you get the right size. Um, the main benefits of this are, yeah, it's really tough, it's really simple, it does the job. Um, it's fairly flat as well, so it's gonna pack down quite easily. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you get a decent size, it's not too big. Because it's got these rails as well, that helps with tracking, so the fin doesn't kind of shudder from side to side as you move through the water. Um, very effective at, uh, at its price point. It's a really nice fin, it's the Cressy Reaction. Um, if you don't need anything too big, um, then a Tusa Sport uh, sort of short fin. Uh, this comes in a few different designs. These are really small and compact. Um, so if you're not used to sort of large fins, um, they can feel um, sort of a bit cumbersome and a bit clumsy in the water. So to kind of wean yourself onto getting used to fins, this is a good alternative. And they don't give you nearly as much propulsion through the water because you haven't got a big blade attached to it. Um, but to sort of augment your natural kind of swimming ability, these are a good alternative. Again, they're flat, they're really small, they're incredibly light, so they're great to travel with. Um, and you have that adjustable heel strap. So uh, you don't have to get the right size and make sure that it sort of fits. You can adjust it with the one-way ratchet strap. Um, so that heel strap is really nice and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's nice and small. It's great for travel where you don't want sort of a big clumsy fin. Slightly bigger, but still nice and compact, is the Mario's X1. Uh, so again, this has an adjustable heel strap. Um, you've got that dual blade materials. Uh, so you've got a harder material that attaches onto the rail. So that's keeping the rigidity of the fin. But then this softer black material that changes the shape of the, uh, the blade during each part of the fin kick, trapping water, turning it into a real scoop and really forcing its way through the water. So that increases the effectiveness. Uh, we've also got this kind of mesh material uh, over the foot pocket, which just increases the flexibility. So it's really comfortable um, and also means that you can get your foot in and out without that kind of suction. Uh, really nice and comfortable. Again, flat, so it's easy to travel and easy to, uh, to move around in the kind of surf. Um, that's a very nice pair of fins. So the Tusa Go Travel Fin. So these are incredibly lightweight again, despite their size, they're a little bit bigger than the X1. Uh, one of the main benefits is that adjustable heel strap. So all of these are be, uh, sort of made to be worn with bare feet or at least with some kind of sock maybe. Um, but this adjustable bungee strap just makes it really easy to get them on, especially if you've got a bad back or, uh, or you can't sort of reach down too easy. You just pull on that strap over the back of your, uh, your heels and that's it. You don't have to adjust anything thing, it does it automatically. So these have that, uh, that pre-bent um, blade, which means that it's a bit more effective whilst you're in the water. Instead of a completely flat blade, um, which isn't the most effective at moving you through the water, this one just kind of accounts for that bend that you naturally get in your ankle and gives you that 180 degrees, so it's more effective at uh, sort of moving you through the water. The final one, our favorite, is the, um, the Scuba Pro Sea Wing Nova full foot version. So as the name suggests, it's a full foot version of the Sea Wing Nova, uh, which is winning designs left, right and center because of its sort of separated wing um, sort of hinge design. So you have your foot pocket, then you get these kind of hinges. So the hinges allow for the blade to change its angle of attack during each section of the fin kick. Um, so they'll feel quite floppy whilst you're moving through the water, but they're very, very effective at moving through the water. So they don't take up very much energy from your legs. Um, 
So they're a good alternative, especially if you've got um, sort of dodgy ankles or weak knees. Uh, you don't require very much energy to, uh, to move you through the water, uh, and these are very effective at it. A uh, few little features on this um, from the, uh, the sort of the design of this sort of wing to uh, you've got a little uh, sort of hook at the top so which makes it easy to, uh, to travel around. You can clip them together, clip them onto a carabiner on your backpack and they just carry around with you. Uh, and because it's the, uh, the full foot version, they're a little bit smaller, a bit lighter than its, uh, its open hill um, sort of brother. It's a, it's a very effective fin at moving you through the water. Okay, so there were five of our favorite fins in no particular order, but in the comments below, let us know what your favorite pair of snorkeling fins is and why. Thanks for watching, safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.